fat man's laughter echoed throughout the shop. I am passing on my secrets to you. Gray felt himself slowly falling backwards. Gray opened his eyes to a whitish blur. A young doctor in an old coat bent over him. How long have I been out? The doctor seemed relaxed but was intently staring around Gray's face. It's been about five weeks, Mr. Gray. How do you feel? How soon can I join the regular population? The doctor looked puzzled. Regular population? His head reared back in realization. You are not in prison, Mr. Gray. They only held you for a week until the incidents began occurring. Incidents? What are you talking about? Gray began to pull up, but it was futile. The doctor laughed and picked something up from the end of the bed. You know, Mr. Gray, if I did not know you were a murderer, I would probably handle this differently. Gray looked into his own eyes. Tattoos were covering every part of his head. The doctor angled the mirror. On the center of his chest was a menacing, smiling picture of Hawkins. It's him. He's inside me. The doctor put the mirror down and walked over to the table. It starts every day, promptly at nine, and ends at five. The stuff just appears on your skin, as if it is being tattooed from the inside. The doctor opened a file and pulled out an x-ray. If this mental phenomenon was not unbelievable enough, the doctor held the x-ray up to the overhead light for Gray to see. It is not just your skin it's happening to. Your internal organs have what appear to be tattoos as well. Scenes from Hawkins' life and Gray's treachery. They were covering his liver, his stomach, and just started on his intestines. Who are you? What kind of place is this? This is Central State Mental Asylum. You were brought here three weeks ago for observation and study. They couldn't leave you in the prison wards because the daily screaming bothered the other prisoners too much. At this rate, it could be years before you are completely covered. And, by the way, I've taken you off all of the pain medication, seeing as how they weren't really helping you anyway. The doctor glanced at his watch as Gray began to whimper. 8.57 a.m. in the morning, three minutes before the start of our business day. The doctor opened up his notebook and got his pen ready. When it starts, describe the pain the best way you can.